Cabela's Big Game Hunter 2005 Adventures is a 2004 hunting video game published by Activision Value for Microsoft Windows, Xbox, GameCube, PlayStation 2, and Game Boy Advance. It is also a backwards compatible title for the Xbox 360. Topic: Gameplay. In the career mode, players progress through 6 geographical regions, each with several sub-levels. The regions are forest, marsh, desert, prairie, mountain, and tundra. Each sublevel has a specific animal to hunt, though some animals are hunted multiple times on separate occasions, and occasionally the player will encounter other objectives within a level. Money is earned along the way, which can be spent on more advanced firearms and other equipment. A few opportunities will arise for the player to win a gun by completing certain tasks. Some animals include, white-tailed deer, timberwolves and peccary. Other play modes include quick hunt, starting with one sublevel per region, other levels become available as they are completed in the career mode, and tournaments, including skeet shooting. Topic. PC version The PC version operates much differently, and allows the player to select locations and unlock them upon their completion. It operates exactly like its predecessor, Cabela's Big Game Hunter, 2004 season. The game includes 10 maps located across North America. The maps are much more diverse and unique than those of the 2004 season. Unlike the previous game, each map can only be played in two seasons. The seasons in question depend on the map. Each season features different game from the other one, requiring the player to play each map, except one, twice in order to complete the game. The game also imposes firearm restrictions based on each season in each map. The most prevalent restrictions are those that allow either rifles and shotguns or those that allow an weapon of choice. Other locations include bow-only seasons, and one includes a shotgun-only season. The player may only carry two weapons on each hunt. There are 36 game mammals. Topic. Locations South Dakota, located in the Black Hills National Forest, this map features thick pine forests, a winding river, and steep hills. Travel by ATV is practical on the trails, but the drastically changing temperatures would affect the player's hunt based on the time of the day. Game here in the summer is cougar, mountain goat, and mule deer. Game in the autumn is cougar, mountain goat, and pronghorn. Idaho, taking place in the Coeur d'Alene National Forest in the panhandle of the state, this map features densely thick forests, with little open areas. A large plain is accessible when spawning at Whispering Falls, but clearings throughout the forest are rare. The pickup truck makes travel difficult, and walking through the trees obscures the player's vision. Game in the autumn is woodland caribou, shira's moose, and mule deer. In the winter, game is shira's moose, mule deer, and grizzly. The grizzly makes a difficult hunt in a difficult location. Kentucky, this map resembles the southern part of Kentucky, the Pennyroyal region, near the Mammoth Cave. Thick forest, unstable foothills, small, winding paths, and a river bisecting the main trail, Kentucky is one of the most difficult locations in the game. At the top of the map, in the mountains, at the end of the trail, the player can find a small log cabin. Game in the autumn is wild boar, coyote, elk, and whitetail. Hunting in the winter is not necessary, as the elk is not prevalent, but all other animals are available game. Winter is also especially difficult as it is a shotgun-only season. Michigan, located on the Upper Peninsula, this map features thick pockets of trees laid out among large plains. Trails are scarce, but can be followed to reach remote corners of the map. On the shore of what is most likely Lake Superior, a cabin and dock can be found. In the winter, ice forms over and the player can walk or drive to the small island off of the shore. Game in the winter is wolf, elk, and whitetail. Game in the autumn is black bear, wolf, and whitetail. Nevada, a map made of a vast plains, massive slopes, and deathly temperatures, this virtual map of Death Valley makes a difficult hunt. Although the smallest map in the game, Nevada's temperatures can reach above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Quick game is also a determining factor in the player's completion of the hunt. Game in the summer is coyote, mountain goat, and bighorn sheep. 
In the autumn, game is coyote, bighorn, and pronghorn. Nunavut, Canada's largest and most sparsely populated territory, Nunavut makes for a brutal expedition. The map is set in exiled Victoria Island in the autumn, temperatures can be mild, making traveling on foot easier. But in the winter, temperatures are constantly below zero degrees. Trails lead around the map, but most of the map is covered in small rock clusters and foliage. In the autumn, the game is Labrador caribou, polar bear, and musk ox. In the winter, game is polar bear, Labrador caribou, and wolf. Sonora, one of Mexico's northernmost states, Sonora is a simple hunt. In the spring, temperatures are moderate and game is not entirely dangerous. Sonora is a relatively small map. A favorable route would be for the player to spawn at Salt Pool and travel up the trail to the cabin at the other end of the map. Game in the spring is cougar, javelina, and cuey's deer. In the autumn, a bow-only season, game is cuey's deer, javelina, and bighorn. Utah – Utah is the most difficult map to travel in. Set in a desert gorge, the player will find difficulty in maneuvering the terrain. Steep slopes, large canyon walls, and a narrow river that bisects the map makes this a formidable hunt. A boat spawns at the region, Blade Arch, and can be used to navigate to the other end of the map, Thunder Fall. The only connection between the two halves of the map is a cast iron bridge. There is another region of the map, but the player go to the boat spawn, swim across and navigate up a steep hill in order to access the other region. Game in the autumn is elk, shira's moose, and pronghorn. Game in the winter is black bear, shira's moose, and elk. Vermont, one of the smallest maps in the game, Vermont features thick forests of maple trees, a small pond in the direct center, and minimal trails. The winter features black bear, coyote, and whitetail. Game in the autumn is Canadian moose, black bear, and whitetail. Autumn is a bow-only season. Yukon Territory, a large map that spawns the player without a vehicle. Because of its setting in the Klondike Valley, made famous for the Klondike Gold Rush, temperatures are formidably cold. A boat does spawn at the far end of the map, but spawning at a location near it entails a long walk. A river does make every region accessible via boat. Trails reach all around the map. It is also the map with largest variety of game. The spring entails brown bear, Alaskan moose, Sitka black-tailed deer, and barren ground caribou. The winter, a bow-only season, allows the player to hunt Sitka blacktail, doll sheep, and stone sheep. <laughs> 